Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna be doing these short mini reads daily for the collective, the Divine Masculine readings, okay? Um, also the Twin Flame Journey, take this as it resonates. I have messages for all of it in this um, reading. I already pre-pulled the cards and I'm just gonna go into it, okay? So we've got Five of Pentacles, we've got Ace of Pentacles, we've got Eight of Swords, The World Reversed, and Knight of Wands. What I feel like is a lot of you guys are going through a situation where obviously with the world reverse, there's some unfinished business here, okay? Um, but I also feel like you're preventing yourself from getting to where you want. And I've been getting this energy all morning, actually, even when I did a video earlier, um, where, where this self-sabotaging energy, it's we're getting in our own way, okay? There are brand new opportunities here. There's abundance to be had, but with the Five of Pentacles, there's some abandonment, there's scarcity mindset, there's a fear, there's um, a glass half empty kind of mentality, especially with the Eight of Swords. It's like we're creating our own mental prison with these situations, okay? There is karma here with the world reversed. Um, some of you guys have been really burned by people who appear genuine and loyal because i have another card under here um but they're really just in and out energies here they're really just here today gone tomorrow kind of energies um they're very non-committal they're very um fast moving they come in hot but they're they're not here to stay okay and i feel like some of you guys have um had that on your twin flame journey and some of you guys are confused because you still can't figure out whether your masculine was a knight of wands or not. And by if you were to talk to people in your life, they'd say, yeah, they were definitely a knight of wands because are they still in your life? No. And then you guys know that the soul connection goes beyond the 3D. But I think a lot of you guys are doubting or you're getting maybe even consumed in the idea of believing in people who are not showing up and you don't know if you should be giving that benefit to your masculine or not or if this whole thing is just kind of like you making excuses for someone who abandoned you okay it's up for you guys to decide i do feel like a connection is not so much about what whether someone's still there or not but obviously the impact they've had on your life and if you're using that in a positive way okay I do feel there's unfinished business here, and I feel like you guys are always going to feel like that with your connection. But, like, so look at this. We've got soul family with the dolphins, this beautiful energy, loyal heart, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. It isn't what it seems. Not all that glitters is gold. The storyteller, I am the narrator of my own life. And that's what I'm saying, guys. I think it's time to take back the power to stop feeling like you're just a victim in your story and to realize that you are here you are solid within yourself and your connections you are going to find people that match the loyalty that you give okay um we are breaking through illusions right now we're breaking through what we thought things were we're coming to the acceptance of what they are but that doesn't mean you give up that doesn't mean you're alone that doesn't mean your story is over okay so i think a lot of you have convinced yourself if your masculine isn't coming around that that's it for you but you're on the soul journey you're on the spiritual journey you do have a story and it doesn't just end because someone decides to leave your life it's an ongoing story so just keep knowing that people will continue to come in. You'll continue to have experiences that light the way and you will have people that match your vibration as you go along this journey, okay? So this is kind of a more of a divine feminine reading, I would say, but I also feel that the masculine is mirroring this energy and feeling the same kind of unfinished energy, not really sure whether they're going to come back or not, also being stuck in their head, also having self-sabotaging energy. So I do feel the two um, twins are mirroring each other like that. And um, the masculine is at this point doubting their um, belief system of, is this really the true story that I've told myself? Or actually, is, do, did I have it all wrong? Is my feminine my person? Wow. I thought that I didn't care, but my heart feels loyal to my feminine. I thought that what I was choosing was the right path, but now I realize 
where my heart's been all along. So actually what I feel is the, the masculine is more so doubting their past, whereas the feminine is more so doubting their current experiences, where I feel like the masculine is starting to see clear that this really is a divine connection, while the feminine is starting to realize maybe this isn't, okay? So that's the energy I'm getting. I hope this reading resonates. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe, say hello, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.